Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be on this simple cut crease look. This is my first time attempting a cut crease. So let's jump right into the video. So first I'm starting off with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Warm Honey to Prime my Eyelids for eyeshadow. And I'm using this damp uh, Real Technique sponge to just blend it out. Next I'm going to set that with the Black Opal Finishing Deluxe Powder in Medium. I'm going to take this eyeshadow by Makeup Geek, uh, it's Coco Bear, and I'm going to place this in my crease using this as my transition color, and I'm just going to use Windshield Wiper Motions, and I'm using this with a fluffy blending brush, and I'm just going to keep blending it back and forth in my crease to kind of build up the color. Okay, so now I'm going to take Embark by MAC, and this is just a deep chocolate color, um, and I'm going to place that in my, a little bit lower in my crease to add some kind of, you know, definition to the crease, and I'm going to use windshield wiper motions to, you know, blend it out and kind of mix it in with my first transition color, and then, you know, build up the color from there. Okay, so now I'm going to take my Blame It On Midnight Eyeshadow by NYX and I'm going to place this on my brow bone and I'm just going to use this as my highlight color. Okay, so now I'm just going to use a fluffy blending brush to blend my brow bone color and my crease color together so it's not that harsh line that you see. Um, this is just going to, you know, make sure the colors transition into each other. Now I'm going to take my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Almond and I'm going to use this to cut my crease. Like I said, this is my first time ever doing a cut crease. It didn't come out completely perfect, but that's okay. Practice makes perfect. So I'm just going to use this as a base for my eyeshadow. And my eyeshadow that I'm using is actually pretty much the same color as the concealer that I'm placing on my lid to cut the crease. Now I'm going to take my Damp Beauty Blender sponge and I'm just going to kind of set that in place to prepare for eyeshadow. Okay, so now I'm going back in with that same eyeshadow that I placed on the brow bone, which was the Blame It On Midnight Eyeshadow by NYX. And I'm using that as my lid color. Like I said, it was the same color as the concealer that I used to cut the crease. So Now I'm going to go in with my Monistat Shaping Relief Powder Gel as my face primer. I'm just going to apply this to my face so that when I apply foundation it goes on much smoother. Okay, so now I'm going to go on my Fenty Beauty Foundation in the number 460. I'm going to take this on my damp Real Technique sponge and I'm just going to dab this all over my face so that I, you know, get a smooth, even finish. Okay, so now I'm going in with my Milani Conceal and Perfect 2 in 1 foundation in chestnut number 13, and I'm using this as my concealer for under my eye, around my mouth, my forehead, my chin, and other places that I would like to highlight. Okay, so now I'm going back with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Warm Honey, and I'm just placing this under my eyes to act as some extra coverage so that no dark circles will peek through. And I like to layer my concealers just because it gives it a more highlighted look under my eyes.
Okay, so now I'm going back in with my Black Opal Deluxe Finishing Powder in Medium, and I'm just going to set the under eye area so that it doesn't move. I'm also going to use that same powder to set the rest of the places I put concealer. Um, now I'm just taking it under my jawline to do a reverse contour, but I'm also going to set my chin, my forehead, and my nose area, and a little bit around my mouth. Okay, so now I'm going in with my Black Radiance Pressed Powder in Ebony, and I'm just going to use this powder to set anywhere that I would like to contour on my face. And I typically contour my cheeks, my forehead, my nose, and around my chin area. Now I'm going to take my Black Opal Deluxe Finishing Powder in Deep and I'm going to use this to set the rest of my face. Okay, so now I'm going to take my NYX Matte Finishing Set Spray on a fluffy blending brush and I'm going to use that to um, apply my highlight which I took out of a Morphe 350 palette. It's like a goldy uh, greenish undertone eyeshadow and I'm using this as my highlight because I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so as you can see I'm highlighting my cheekbones. Uh, the tip of my nose, the bridge of my nose, a little on my forehead and my cupid's bow area, and also on the top of my chin. Okay, so now I'm going to go back in with my NYX Mattifying Finish Spray and I'm just going to set the rest of my face with this so that my face is completely set and matte. Now I'm going to take my e.l.f. Black Eyeliner and line the top lash line. Now I'm going to take this Lip Lighter in Brown Perfection by NYX to line my lips to prepare for my lipstick and lip gloss. Okay, so I'm going back in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer once again, and I'm using this as my lipstick, and I'm going to use this to um, just give me a nice natural lip, and I'm going to mix this in with my liner, and it looks absolutely gorgeous. Like, I'm just going to mix it in so that, you know, I get that ombre effect, and then I'm going to add my lip gloss on top, which is the Black Radiance Lip Gloss in Cashmere, and this is just like the perfect new combo for me. Now off camera, I did apply my Ardell lashes in the number 207. Okay, so I'm going back in with that glitter eyeshadow that I used for my highlight. And I'm just going to add a little bit more because I felt like it was a little dulled. So I'm just going to add a little bit more to my face to give it an extra glow. Okay, so that completes this video. I really hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next one. Can you party with a